Coffee? Coffee? Where's my can of coffee? Daddy, you see my on. homework? Forget about your homework. I'm talking about something important. Where's the coffee? Who kidnapped one of those guys? What? It's already made, Dad. Oh, yeah. Hey, come on. What's all the commotion here? Did you take my algebra homework? It was on the sideboard. <laughs> what am I, not high school? I, what, what do I do with your algebra homework? Wait a minute. Where's the sugar? It's always here on the Don't table. look at me. What's going on here? Good morning, everybody. What a glorious day out there. And the daffodils are in bloom. Did you see? Am I dreaming? Am I really here? No, you're not dreaming. I was living a nightmare lying in this bed without you. You have no idea how lonely and empty my life is when you're not in it. You are my life. See, if we could nail down some times here and have something, you know? Now, uh, night of the ball, and you were dancing with Pappas, but you don't remember exactly what time. Here you go. The donut is on the house. You need something in your stomach, Dinah. Okay, okay, forget that. Okay, you danced with Pappas, you had a plate of food with Stavros. Wait, 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 what one was that? Mm -hmm. Early. Are you certain of that? Oh, come on. I, I was with everybody. I was everywhere. I don't remember. It was all a blur. You know, the only thing that's clear to me now is my future. It's going to be in jail and not overnight. I, there's no way I'm going to get out of this mess. Come on. Dad, don't worry about it. We'll find a way. Finally getting a yen for breaking and entering now? I'll get back to you. Hey, hey, hey! Who's ready for school, huh? Nobody. We're not going. What do you mean you're not going to school? It's teacher's conference. We get the whole morning, huh? What? The whole morning? <laughs> now, where's my darling daughter? We have to discuss that art council benefit. Oh, she just went to answer the door. Oh. So what are we going to do all morning? We're going to play all morning? Yeah. You get Good morning. Uh, Hi. Good morning. You know, it's kind of early, but we have an announcement to make. We're getting married. I think it's wonderful. Congratulations. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see the ring. Oh, yeah, very it? nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, Come to the family. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty Fun. frightening thought, huh? What's engaged, Daddy? <laughs> What's engaged? Well, I'll tell you, engaged. Henry, uh, two people love each other very much. Um, they're not married yet. Sorry, I, I, I wanted to uh, ask for Vanessa's hand in marriage before we announce it to the rest of the family, but it just didn't. Didn't quite work out that way. As well, perhaps it's just as well that it didn't. Would you have said no? Matt, I don't know what I would have said. However, seeing that look on my daughter's face, what father could ask for anything more? <laughs> Darling. 
Thank you. They're getting married. Mm. When, Aunt Vanessa, when? Oh, no, no, we're in no rush. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can see, we haven't quite worked that part out yet. Uh, I think this calls for a celebration. Uh, don't anyone leave. I'll be right back. Guess when it happened? Hmm. It was the night of the ball. It was. The ball. Oh, the ball. <laughs> yes, that was a very romantic night for everybody, huh? A very romantic evening. What's wrong? Did I do something wrong? Well, I wanted to surprise you, so I let myself in. Is that, you don't mind, do you? Mine? No, oh, don't mind. It's just that uh, um, I couldn't find my coffee. It's right there. Yeah, it smells great. It's it's great. It's all great. Everything's great, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah, it's all great. Uh, it's Nick. Great. Yeah. You want to put a robe on or something? Why? Uh, oh. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. Um. I'll, I'll, Breakfast I'll, in yeah. 15 minutes. I'm gonna be home. Okay. Uh, Dad, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stay. School bus. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You, you can stay. Nick can take you to school because you don't want to miss Holly's treat now, do, do you? Do you? No. Okay, get dressed. Go on, go on, go on. Growing boys need big breakfasts. <laughs> yeah, they sure do. And careful with that. Now, don't you think I'm grown up enough for you? You are everything enough for me. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what are you trying to do? Amaze me every moment? That's the plan. That's a good plan. I like that plan. I could think of a plan, too. I think I thought of a better plan. <laughs> no, we're not going to be late for work today, remember? Mm -hmm. Vaguely. <laughs> Besides, it's a good news day. Could be. Oh, uh, yeah, could be. But could on the other hand... Could have a breakthrough. Hand, no, forget about it. Break your... That's Tangie's assignment on that, Robbie. She can offer anything on that assignment that she... What? What? So, so what's my assignment? What can I handle? Handle this. You look really mad. Not to mention wet. I am really mad. Well, you don't have to be mad anymore because I have some really great news. I'm not interested. Oh, come on. What do you mean? You're not interested in really great news? Not from you. And why is that? I mean, what did I do? What, have you forgotten about the article? You made me look like a fool to the whole world. Then you come... Uh, just sashaying into my house uninvited, like uh, you own the place or something? Well, I mean, you're kidding, right? You want to talk to me professionally, you know where I oh, work. Oh, now, wait, wait a minute, Patrick, don't do this. Excuse me, I have no, to shave. No, Patrick, no, you are not shaving until we settle this. It is settled. This is not about some article, which I was very careful not to print your name, mind you. You don't think everybody knew who it was? Uh, no, this is not about that. This is about something bigger. I mean, you... We're friends. I mean, friends should talk, right? And you're my friend. So talk to me. I can't just keep being your friend, okay? Oh. Look, I've tried. I really have. I, it, it, it. Every time I look at you, I... I never mind. Forget it. No, no please. Look. Just tell me. I don't think you really want to hear it anyway. I, I think you want things to just stay the way they are, me being your best friend, and I'm telling you, I can't do it anymore. It doesn't work for me. So we're at an impasse, okay? Uh, I... And it's probably for the best. I mean, the lousy article you wrote, frankly, I don't really want you in my life anymore. So why don't you just tell me why you're here, and then we can, you know... What are you here? What do you want? I'm sorry. I, I really, I didn't know that you, you felt anything for me. Look, if you're not going to tell me why you're here, you might as well take your... Your blue eyes, your blonde hair, and your long legs, and just sashay on out of here. Excuse me. Well, I just wanted to tell you that I found the money. All $75,000 worth. Another cup, Alex? Mmm, half cup. Any news on the stolen money? No, not one word. 
I hope your friend Buzz Cooper hasn't let you down on this one. Buzz Cooper would never steal from his own people. That is totally unthinkable. Then I won't think. Good. Don't think. No more negative thoughts. I've had enough of those to last a lifetime. Well, then how about another sweet roll? Oh, yes. Boy, would that be exciting. Let's have them all. What do you say? Alan, as a matter of fact, let's do take the car. Take a drive up to Chicago. Take in the new showing of the masterpieces, the Renaissance masterpieces, huh? Have some lunch. I mean, a really decadent lunch. And then do a lot Beg of... Beg pardon, Master Spaulding, Miss Spaulding, but uh, Sid Dickerson is here. Sid? Show him in, Ginger. Oh, not yet. Not yet. I'll see him now. Alan, what are you up to? Thank you, Ginger. Okay. You didn't answer me. Alex, there's nothing I would enjoy more than going to Chicago, but uh, I'm afraid that the order of the day is business before pleasure. My calendar is filled with appointments. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. What have you got going on, Alan? Come on, I can see it in your eyes. Well, I've just been keeping myself amused. I'm dabbling in a couple of new ventures. No, no, I... darling, this is more than dabbling. I can see this is a whole new energy. <laughs> I can always spot it. I used to be able to do this when you were children, too. <laughs> Alex, why do you always make something out of nothing? Yeah, that same old <laughs> smug laugh every time you want to keep me out of something. <clears throat> Sidney Dickerson, attorney at law. Well, thank you, Ginger. Did a very good job. Now I want you to go and order the limousine for the mistress who will be going to Chicago. No, 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 no limousine. We'll just uh, have another cup for Mr. Dickerson. That is, if you'll join us for coffee, Sid. Oh, I'd love some. Thanks. Oh, One and more just cup. Just brew another up. cup. Brew a whole pot. I'll just stay for the meeting. If you don't mind. <laughs> Me? Well, Alex, I really don't think you would be interested in what Sid and I have in to discuss. What? Spalding spending money. I am always interested. Yes. See, what, what could it be about? Is this about the Fifth Street Project or possibly Buzz Cooper's legal problems? Or do you think it's possibly something maybe that you really care about? Say that to me again? Found the money. Wait, you found the, the money, the Fifth Street, the money that was stolen from the ball? At, that money? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I just did. No, before, when you first found out. You're really not going to yell at me, are you? How did you find it? Well, I guess you really are going to yell at me. Where? Uh, where, where did you find in it? In its sack, actually. The location. You're really not going to make a point of yelling at me, are you? The location. That's better. Under a manhole cover by the Fifth Street corner, near the diner, and I didn't touch it or tamper with it in any way. Levy? Meet me over at Fifth Street. We found the money. Tell the forensic boys to stand by. The diner. Hey, where are you going? I gave you a big scoop. No, I had a big scoop. No, 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 wait a minute. I got a few blanks I want to fill in. Hey! Come here! Hey, come here! Come here! a moment of reality here. If I do figure out who I was talking to at the right time, I will know them too well. The cops aren't going to buy it as an alibi. The cops are going to have to buy something because you didn't do it. They're going to have to find the person who did. <laughs> They're not looking for anybody else, Deanie. Come on. They got me. They got me nailed. I'm their fall guy. No, you're not, mister. They'll never let that happen, OK? They don't believe this garbage about you. They really don't. All right, Miss Popoff, do you think I did it? It all adds up. All the facts. What facts, Mrs. Papa? Come on. First, you got our hopes up. Then you got us all to put in what little we had left. 
in the new store. Oh, he no, he did didn't. not. He did not. You're a con man, Buzz. And I'm hoping that they can fix it so that you'll never pull another scam again. No, hold on. Wait, don't. How can she do that? How can she don't even blame her? I don't it. blame her. Come on. It's my fault. She's right. People believe me. They thought we were going to rebuild. But I. I let him down. No, how did you do that? You didn't let him. Failed, Frank. I failed. I led them to believe something. It didn't happen. Why? Because some creeps stole your money? Oh, I gotta get out of here. Where are you going, Buzz? I don't know. Buzz. Mom, Mom, let him, let him go. He, he just needs to get his head straight, you know? Hey, guys, uh, quick. Turn off the radio. Why? What happened? There are squad cars all over Fifth Street, and it looks like they found the money. What? Money? I gotta get Buzz. Wait, you heard that on the radio? No. Please get it. I got it done like that. Hold on. Wait. What? What's next? Did you, did you see where he go? Waffles, aren't they? Ben? Uh, yeah, right. Nick? You know something? I, uh, I gotta believe that Phoenix is gonna go all the way. I mean, they got shooters. They play the inside game, the outside game. They play D. We're talking about waffles, Nick. Oh. Hmm. Waffles. Are they an expansion team? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're great, Holly. They're really great. I mean, it's actually, they're really kind of filling. Mm. It's nice of you to say so. So, Ben, tell me about school. What are you studying these days? Spanish, English, math, history. Mm, it's interesting. Well, which do you like the best? School. I'm going to be late. What time is it? Look, I'm sorry, Holly. I won't be able to finish the waffle. Oh, uh, you know oh. something? I'll take you to school on the way to the journal, OK? Um, wait, wait, Nick, 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 that's OK. Actually, Nick. I'm kind of running late myself. Uh, I'll see you up the Nick, Nick, Nick. Nick. Yeah. for lunch? Oh. Uh -huh. I, what? I'm, I made lunch for you. I, I took the liberty. It's uh, peanut butter and jelly and carrot sticks. Not very exciting, but very healthy. Carrot sticks. Carrot sticks, yeah, they're great. They'll be good for you. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Holly. You're welcome. Uh, I want the change. Thanks, Ed. At loan, it lasts me pretty. <laughs> Where are you? What? You're not here. At least not here with me. Yes, I am. Mm -mm. You traveled somewhere. You were floating. Stop worrying about Dinah, okay? She's a big girl, trust me. She has a built-in self-preservation button. Blake, mm -hmm. please don't be so hard on her. Am I, really? Remember the first time that we were so worried about her? She was having a midnight supper at the... At the country club? Yeah. Yes, with your father? Yes, mm -hmm. I remember. Oh, that was rock bottom. At least she hasn't sunk that low again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I surrender to what she said. Is that the way it's going to be? Yes, it is. Okay, behind your knee. No, 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 In case you didn't know it, I love you very much. Well, in case you didn't know, being with you in our bed again, it's like a feeling I've never had before. It's only going to get better, too. Really? Mm. I can hardly wait. But first, I want to say one more thing about Dino, OK? And then, and then we're going to drop it. Honey, bunny, why don't we just drop it right now? Ross. I know how tough it was for you to ask her to leave. But I honestly believe that it's the best thing that could happen to her. Hmm. Okay. Now, I am going to make you a sumptuous feast. Enough food to keep us happy the entire day. And bedridden, too. <laughs> um... A day in which a certain young lady with the initials DM 
will not be mentioned. Okay. I adore you. Well, Henry's breaking out the champagne. That's a good sign, huh? Mm -hmm. Hope so. Listen, for, uh, for whatever it's worth, I just want to tell you that I admire your courage. And I think this is a wonderful thing. Do you really feel that way? Yes, I do. Good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Matt and I were thinking that you might have quite a different reaction. No. Yeah. So, um, are we the first to know? I mean, have you told, uh... No, I haven't told Bill. What about his dad? No. No. I don't know how I'm gonna tell Billy. I think he's probably gonna be the hardest to tell. Hmm? He might surprise you. Might take it pretty well. Might even wish you well. Admire your courage. What is this about admiring my courage? This whole thing. With you and Matt, it's all been about courage. It really has been. And, 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 and marriage? I mean, after loving someone that you thought you might spend the rest of your life with, and then losing that person, that's a big deal. Um, you've been thinking about Reva, haven't you? Yeah, I have. It's kind of weird, isn't it? No, it's not weird at all. Not at all. It's just that life is for the living. I've heard that rumor. No, well, listen to it, then. <laughs> no, please, I'll get that. You stay there. You still my beating heart. Oh, I had to come over to make sure you didn't hate me. Why would I hate you? Because I blew our big date last night. You were saving lives, Nurse Dutton. Here, I got this for you. Oh, thank you. My mother always told me that looking forward to something was the best part. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I gotta tell you something. Uh -huh. This something that we're looking forward to is definitely going to be the best part. <laughs> not <laughs> Well, Sid, what's the word from the coast? Has Jilly completed her conquest of La La Land? <laughs> well, I wouldn't call it a conquest, Alexandra. No, what would you call it? A meteoric rise to glory? <laughs> Jilly's doing very well. And you must be very proud of her. And proud of this report, too, Sid. Is that report for public consumption? Or at least my consumption? Well, Alex, that's entirely up to Sid. Uh, it's just some preliminary thoughts on uh, a redevelopment project that Alan and I had discussed. So. This is oh. far from preliminary, Sid. This addresses all that I'm concerned with. I'm very, very impressed with this. Not to mention vastly... Uh, Relieved that I didn't let you get away to another company. Well, there's something that we need to discuss then, Alan, because I don't think I'm going to be able to accept your offer. Alex, would you mind leaving Sid and I alone for a few minutes? Oh, dear, look at the time. And I just have a million things to do. Thank you for being so understanding, uh, Alex. And uh, listen, if you're not busy tonight, we will uh, go to dinner at that new French restaurant along the lakeside. Then we'll stop in at the jazz pot and see who's playing. Mm -hmm. That sounds just Marvy. Then you can tell me all about everything. Well, Sid, what, uh, what made you change your mind? Well, I've decided to move to L.A. And give up a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to help your people in your neighborhood? No, they have similar neighborhoods in Los Angeles, so I'll just find good work to do there. But, Sid, we need you here in Springfield. I don't want to risk losing the woman I love. She's in L.A. now. And as long as she's there, that's where I want to be. I can't be anywhere else. It's just that simple. Well, you're right, of course. If you have that kind of love, you must protect it at all cost. Well... I thank you for not giving me a hard time about it. Oh, I hope it doesn't affect your plans for moving forward with the neighborhood. No, no, of course not. All right. Well, then I'll be in town for a while, about a week, ten days, wrapping up this Buzz Cooper case. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you for helping me with that. Okay. I'll fly back if the case warrants. Well, that's good. And uh, good luck to you, Sid. Uh, 
Ginger will show you out. All right, you take care. It's uh, very early out there in California, but I want to talk to you about a new employee of yours, Jilly Grant. Yeah, we what? Need pictures. Oh, well, the press is circling. Listen, I need like to Like a vulture in a rat. What? Oh, no, no, I have nothing to say to the press. Bus, nothing please. except the fact that my name is cleared. No thanks to Ms. Hill Bus. or the journal. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you know, I'm a little confused about this. What are you confused about? They found the money. But how did you know about it? Uh-oh. Oh, oh wow. Well. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's it. Oh, found the bag. That's the bag. Where'd you find it? if you didn't know. What do you say? I mean, you're not off the hook yet. Mm -hmm. Should I take this as a sign you're not mad at me? How many hours until tonight? Seven hours and five minutes, please come. <laughs> but listen, before I uh, get off work, mm -mm. I have to go on work, so that no. means I have to run back to the hospital. Watch stick yes. around. No, we're having a little celebration inside. Matt and Vanessa just announced their marriage. Can really? Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Well, give them my best. You're not going to stick around? No. If I don't get back to the hospital, <laughs> I'll never <laughs> get off. Get it? <laughs> All right. Bye. Go work. <sighs> I saw you, Daddy. Oh, you did, Miss Nosy Parker. You like Annie, don't you, Daddy? Yeah, you know what I really like most of all? Mm -hmm. Tickling my daughter. Ah! And my son. Ah! 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 Please, everyone, come get your glasses. Oh, we swallow so many oranges, we swallow our hands. <laughs> well, nothing's too good for my daughter and her fiancé. Uh, now, everyone, let's uh, get on with the toast while I still have it in my hand. Here's to love that strange and extraordinary quality which can change people's lives. And uh, when it exists, there can be great risks, great joy, and unfortunately, sometimes great pain, but still, without it, life is scarcely worth living. So here's to the two of you. All good fortune, courage, and great happiness. Cheers. Cheers. That's clink. Mm, no. <laughs> clink, 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 Why is it that you always know exactly what to say? Is it because you're a rare and wonderful man? No, it's because I have a rare and wonderful daughter. <laughs> mm. Don't worry about me, all right? Mm. If anybody knows the risks of love, I think I do. I know that. Now, let's hope this time it's just the blessings. <laughs> mm? I agree. <laughs> mm, so. I'll get that. Hello, Dinah. Hey, Dinah. Hi. Hi. Looks like a party. Hi, Dinah. What a nice surprise. What's the occasion? I've asked your mother to marry me. And she said yes. Well, I guess my invitation got lost in the mail. There were... there weren't any invitations. It was just, you know, we just decided. Huh. Well, where's my brother, Bill? I mean... He's in uh, Washington, D.C. on a school field trip. Huh. 
What about Peter? Peter's at Bridget's. Dinah, this was an impromptu gathering. It wasn't a formal occasion. I understand, Mother. It's okay. <laughs> Hope you'll be happy for us, Dinah. Well, of course I'm happy for you. It's everyone's dream to find love, right? Wish you all the luck in the world. Really. Mm. Thank you, Dinah. <laughs> it's funny, though, because I didn't think you were interested in people of my generation. But I guess, you know, there's always an exception. Math must be it. <laughs> well, how about some champagne? I really must toast to the happy couple. Oh. Mm. Congratulations, Matt. You're still blaming me for this? I don't believe it. Get the lab guys on the phone, tell them to check it for prints. Oh, come on, Connor, my fingerprints are all over that, every bill there. I was the guy that transferred it from the fishbowl to the ticket book. Before we kept the money, Cutter. I, Cutter, I, you, you're not only saying that I that I stole the money, but I stashed it like a half a block from where I work and live, right under your nose. You wait for the heat to die down, you go around the corner, you take the money, and then you split town. Oh, <laughs> no. So that's it, that's it, I'm nailed, I'm done. I'm gonna take the fall for this no matter what. How did you find this? An informant. Who? I don't have to tell you that information. You're a suspect. Yeah, you fixed me, man. You fixed me. You framed me for yeah, this. Yeah, I'm no, not going to let that happen. No, no, no. If I was you, Buzz, I'd call Ross. Yes, I, That's I am going to call. Get up. Get up. Lady, get up. It's my phone. I'm going to use it. All right, stop playing around. Just tell me how you found the money. I looked for it. You think I'm joking with you? Does it look like I'm laughing? Oh, you just happened to stumble upon this manhole. All the manholes in Springfield. Now, somebody tipped you off, didn't they? Did it ever occur to you that maybe I'm a very, very good sleuth? I could have killed me to leave her. Oh, hi. Hi, hi darling. darling. Oh, oh hi, I'm so darling. glad you could make time. I I, I can't get away, though. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry. I Who just... said anything about getting away? Lunch has come to you, my darling. Hot dog. Hot so dog. Hot dogs. Well, because they were out of our favorite corn dog. So <laughs> this will just have to do. <laughs> well, you are certainly feeling very chipper today, aren't you, Alex? Mm-hmm. Yes, I guess. I'm having lunch with my dear, dear friend who's been away far, far too long. <laughs> And promise me you'll show me all the pictures of Lizzie's once you get all 500 developed. <laughs> you have to ask. <laughs> but somehow, I have a feeling that there's something else on your mind when you want to have lunch, like Fletcher. Gee, I hope I'm not that transparent to everyone. Well, I hear transparent because I heard about what happened at the ball, his grand gesture to win Holly. It, it must have been absolutely awful for you, was it? Actually, it was awful. <laughs> I've never seen Fletcher like that. I mean, he, he, just, he just appeared to be so much in love, he'd do anything. And then, of course, to make matters worse, I mean, Alan sends our great-grandmother's dress to Danji Hill to where Buzz gets himself arrested and... Well, it wasn't what you call a perfectly fabulous evening. All right, Alex. But you know what they say, um... You have to hit the bottom before you can rise to the top like the cream. So let's just knock on wood that things won't get any worse, right? Mm-hmm. I wish that were so. And it would be. If you could tell me a certain friend of mine has gone ahead and gotten that mammogram she promised to get. I made an appointment for Monday, and believe me, I'm going to keep it. Thank you very much. Why don't I just go with you? No, 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 you don't have to go with me. I'll, I'll call you as soon as I get the results, okay? Oh. My call to arms, hot dog in hand. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to go. Are you going to be all right? Oh. Yes, I'm going to be fine, absolutely. As long as I had to run into Tangie Hill or Fletcher Reed or Holly Lindsay. Or... <laughs> Let's see, who else? Huh. I want to do things I haven't done forever. What? I clean my kitchen. <laughs> How can life change so completely, so perfectly, and so quickly? I don't know. But sometimes it just does. Is that how you really feel? I feel like I understand what spring is about for the first time. Because I'm dopey. Well, if you're dopey, I'm happy. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> All right, here you go. Let you cut her here. Let's get out of here, Levy. Okay, Buzz, we're leaving. Don't you think about leaving, all right? You either, Tangie. We have some questions for you. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. What do you mean he's got? He's got clips. What do you mean? He's got some questions for you. Listen, I just saw the cops outside. Now they're saying that they recovered the money. What's this mean? Is it true? You off the hook? No, I'm not off the hook. I'm on the hook more than ever. He thinks I stashed it. I'm really sorry that things didn't change for you. Oh, sorrow and emotion from the blonde ice cube. No, I don't think so. I really believe that you didn't take it. No, what you believe is you got a hot story. You'd do anything, you'd say anything, you'd feel anything for a scoop. Get out of here! Out! <clears throat> Get out! Uh, Alan Michael, it's Ross. <clears throat> if you've heard from Dinah, would you please give me a call? Thank you. It's okay, you know. What's okay? To care about Dinah. You love her. How could you not care about her? I try too hard with her. I just have to find a better way to handle her. I'm not so sure she can be handled. Thank you. So, it's been a very educational last few weeks, hasn't it? I tell you, I've learned a few things about myself. Really? Yeah, number one, I've learned that I'm a chauvinist. When did you come to this conclusion? I was actually going to mortgage this house without consulting you. As if all the assets were my department somehow. Ergo, as we lawyers are wont to say, I have taken steps to amend this particular situation. Just open it. It's um, uh, this is a legal document. What 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 does this say? What is? Oh, honey, don't read it. It's got a lot of the party, the first parts, and all that. But in plain English, what it says is that this house is now in both our names. You still love me in spite of my being a male of the worst variety. Let me show you just how much. Oh. Let's go, guys. School well, I think we've got enough minutes. celebrating for a day. You and I have to get to work soon. Yeah, oh, we do. Wait, wait, wait. You haven't heard my toast yet. I, uh, may not be here. For the wedding, so I guess this is it. <laughs> it's terrible to be alone in the world. But it's wonderful when you find someone to love. So here's to my mother for finding this gorgeous young man. And here's to Matt for wanting to start a whole new family. I hope you make a very happy home. Cheers. Gotta go. See ya. Bye. Let me. Dinah. Let go of me. I know what you're doing. You know nothing. You're nothing. You're playing on your mother's guilt. You're trying to hurt her. You better let go of my arm, Matt. I'm not gonna let you do that. Oh, you won't? Well, who the hell are you to say anything about what happens between me and my mother? Don't underestimate me, Dinah. I don't estimate you at all. I failed her, Daddy. I failed her terribly. No, that's not true, darling. You've always tried to do what you thought was best for her. Yeah, hi. It's uh, Josh Lewis. I just want to check in, make sure... Um... Uh, let me, uh, let me, let me call you back, okay? Laura, where did you, where did you find... Where did you get that hat? Uh, I found it. Mara? Sweet, let me see. This is your mother's hat. Where in the world did you find it? Come on, Shane! Josh? I thought you got rid of Reva's clothing a long time ago. Yeah, I thought so, too. 